Carefully remove the old dressing to prevent skin stripping or tearing. Discard the dressing in the appropriate receptacle. Remove the stabilization device. Apply a sterile gauze pad to the catheter exit site. With your dominant hand, slowly remove the catheter using gentle, even pressure. If you meet resistance, don't forcibly remove the catheter because forcible removal can result in catheter fracture and embolization. Consult with a practitioner if you meet resistance to discuss interventions for successful removal. Have the patient perform the Valsalva maneuver, unless contraindicated, as you withdraw the final catheter segment to prevent air embolism. Apply immediate pressure to the exit site with the sterile gauze pad until hemostasis is achieved, a minimum of 30 seconds. Apply petroleum-based ointment to the exit site and then cover it with a sterile dressing for at least 24 hours to seal the skin to vein tract and to decrease the risk of air embolism. Place the catheter on the fluid impermeable pad and inspect the catheter tip and measure the length of the catheter to ensure that the catheter has been removed completely. If you suspect that the catheter hasn't been removed completely, notify the practitioner immediately and monitor the patient for signs of distress. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more medical education. We're always creating new content to help you learn and stay informed. See you in the next training, and take care until then.